For more information on today's program, contact Erica Taylor Montgomery at threegirlsmedia.com. Now, back to Punch, media and marketing made easy on the Bay Area's business leader, AM 1220 KDOW. Welcome back to Punch, Media and Marketing Made Easy. I'm your host, Erica Taylor Montgomery, and it's time for your Punch Marketing Minute. And today, we're going to talk about how to get your blog noticed. One of the biggest challenges that every blogger face is how to get their work noticed. Now, there are thousands of blogs out there, and if you're not a celebrity, it's easy for your blog to get lost in cyberspace. So how do you make your blog stand apart? Well, with a little bit of work and effort and these four steps, you will at least be on the right path. Number one, learn SEO. As we are going to discuss in round two of Punch today, SEO stands for search engine optimization. Now, according to Wikipedia, that is the process of improving the visibility of your website or blog in a search engine's unpaid search results. And that's exactly what you want as a blogger, for people to be able to search on the likes of Google, Bing, or Yahoo and to find your blog. And it's one of the most important tools that you can use to get your blog in the limelight. Now, a good resource for SEO information is a website, seomoz.org. That's seomoz.org. And here are a couple of few tips to get you started on the right SEO track. Post as frequently as possible. There is no such thing as too much blogging when it comes to getting your blog found. It's also helpful to post the same days of the week and the same time of day so the search engines are trained to come back and look for your content. Also, each post should have at least one good keyword or key phrase, and that should appear in the title of your blog in the first paragraph and at least three to four more times throughout the post. And then make sure your posts also include an image with a caption if possible. That's also good for SEO. Tip number two, think of your audience. You must keep them in mind. You gotta make sure the information you're thinking about writing is going to be helpful to your target audience. Blog topics should provide information, analysis, interviews, viewpoints, and do not forget about the headline. The better the headline, the more likely it will be that your blog is going to be read. And when you give your audience what they want and need, they're going to appreciate it and will be more likely to comment and share your posts with other people. Speaking of sharing, that's tip number three. Make your blog easy to share. You want to make your posts easy for people to distribute by putting links to like Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and other social sites on your blog post. A lot of options out there depending on what blogging platform you use and what audience you want to attract, but make it easy to share your blog. And lastly, number four, engage your audience. Ask something that's going to entice your readers to comment or to think and want people to talk about the subject of your blog with other people people. At the end of every post, I always recommend asking a question whenever possible. And when people leave a comment, try to respond to them quickly and keep that conversation going. Now, if you do happen to get a negative comment, don't freak out over it. Thank them for sharing their opinion. And unless it's vulgar or obscene, my recommendation is not to delete it. You want the audience to know that you can handle criticism and handle it well. So that's your Punch Marketing Minute for this week, how to help your blog get found on Punch Media and Marketing Made Easy. So it's time for round two of Punch, where we help to educate you and deliver that total knockout with your PR, marketing, and social media. I'm your host, Erica Taylor Montgomery, and I'm the founder and CEO of Three Girls Media and Marketing, Inc., which is a public relations and social media marketing agency that specializes in working with small and mid-sized companies with cost-effective solutions. You can find us online at threegirlsmedia.com. That's threegirlsmedia.com. And I do offer a 30-minute complimentary phone consultation where we can talk specifically about your PR and social media goals and needs. And if you'd like to set up that consultation, it's very easy to do. Just go to threegirlsmedia.com and call or email me to make that appointment for your consultation today. So in round two of Punch, as I've mentioned, we are covering what you need to know about SEO. Our guest has been on Punch before, and I'm thrilled to have him back on the show, Bill Bellew's resume reads like he has lived 10 lifetimes. He is a PhD, a Navy veteran, college professor, professional blogger, SEO and web expert, successful businessman, consultant, professional speaker, a true renaissance man in every
every single sense of the word. Bill, welcome back to Punch Media and Marketing Made Easy. Well, thank you very much, Erica, for inviting me back. I'm very happy to be here. I'm glad to have you. And I know our listeners are very likely to have questions about SEO. So I want to give out the phone number and encourage them to call in. You can reach us live this morning at 800 516 1220. That's 800 516 1220 to call in and talk with me and Bill and get your questions answered about search engine optimization. So, Bill, let's start with the basics. You know, everyone hears the term a lot these days. And I have a feeling that most folks know that it's important in some way, but I think very few actually understand what SEO or search engine optimization is truly about. Can you provide a basic explanation? I think I can do it. And by the way, SEO Moz's advice is spot on. Oh, good. I don't know, they do good work. What they said is, is right there. I have I have a bit of a different definition for search engine optimization. And then, you know, people understand that to be something we do on the back end. And in some circles, it even has a bad connotation. It's as if we are doing the right plug-in, tweaking the amount of words so that we can try to trick the search engines into finding us. And so in, in some worlds, they think, wow, if he's an SEO expert, he must be trying to black hat or cheat the system. And that's not what I think search engine optimization is at all. In my mind, search engine optimization is providing good content that is appealing to real people and appealing to the search engine. In other words, if I write something that only real people like and enjoy, but a search engine can't find, the only way people will know about it is if I tell them. I have to tell sure. my mother, tell my grandmother, put it on Facebook and spread it all around like that. But then on the other side, there is those search engine results that we find and we think, what is this garbage? I, there's nothing I can do with this. That is content that leans too far toward the search engine findability side. What we want is something that real readers will enjoy, but search engines can find. And when that's done, when the content is optimized, we have search engine optimization. So let's talk a little bit about that then, optimizing content. In the Punch Marketing Minute, I shared a, a couple of techniques that you can use to optimize your content. But um, I know that you've come up with a terrific list of different things that people can do. In the world of SEO, with people writing their own blogs these days, what are a couple of most important techniques that you can use to optimize your blogs? Most important techniques? Well, I, I, have, I have one client who, who is now a friend, and he's, he's a mountain climber dude. And he's a great writer. He can write circles around me. And I was reading his, his, his blog site, and it, it was really good. But nobody was finding it. And I said, Rick, and SEO Moss pointed this out, let's put the title or let's put the name of the mountains where you're climbing and, and, and this sort of thing. And so he started doing that. Within two weeks, NBC radio, national television calls him up and says, listen, we just searched you out and found you. We would like you to be our, our expert commentator on the accident that we just experienced on this mountain. Wow. So by matching a title that is findable, searchable, he, he began to be found. So what he was using was clever, cute titles. Clever doesn't get found. Cute doesn't get found. Mm -hmm. People don't search adjectives, adverbs, prepositions, conjunctions, you know, these very simple terms. They don't search this. It's somewhere between clunky and readable in the title. And then you want those words that you put in your title, as SEO Moss point, you want to repeat that in the opening sentences because that's where the search engine is going to go. They're going to check the title, and then they're going to check the content. If there's a disconnect there, it's not going to go any farther. So that gets to the point of making sure that you've got at least one strong keyword or key phrase that you're using in that headline for the search engines to find. And then again, that should be repeated frequently throughout your post, especially towards the beginning. So I had, yes, I had, exactly, I had, I had a, a workshop last night. <laughs> we started at 7.30. We didn't get done to 11. It just kept on going. And they were asking me, well, how do, how do I decide what keyword to put into the title? And so I gave them a, a challenge. I said, write an article or I anything and just stick it on your desktop and leave it there for about a week. Now go back and find it. Oh, I, can't, I don't know where it is. Well, you put something in a little search engine box down in the corner. That's your title. Put that word somewhere in your title because that's what you use to find what you wrote. And that's what your readers are going to, or what the searchers are going to use as well. Terrific advice. When we come back, we're going to continue the conversation with Bill Ballou about SEO and what you need to know about it on Punch Media and Marketing Made Easy. I'm your host, Erica Taylor Montgomery, and you're listening to 1220 AM KDOW.